Welcome back to Upper Michigan Today, everybody. We are now talking about spring eye allergies, symptoms to look out for, how those symptoms might affect your vision, and then ultimately how to alleviate those symptoms. So we're here with Dr. Sandy McPhee of Shopco Optical. Thank you so very much for joining us today. Thanks for having me. Yeah, so spring, of course, it's allergy season. People are sneezing, runny noses, watery eyes. Elizabeth, I know you're already starting to experience yeah. this with, uh, with it's the, early. the warmer weather. Mm -hmm. So first of all, we'll, we'll start with that. Is the warmer, kind of unseasonable weather, will that affect our allergies and in, in when we experience them? Absolutely. You know, we're already seeing people with the allergies that they would normally start with in April or May starting this year already because of that warm weather we've had. Does that mean the season's going to be extended or will we have the allergies for a while in, in, in same length of time? Uh, but it, it feels like the cold weather makes it start right back up like it's day one again. I think it'll depend on the weather. If yeah. we go back and get cold again, I think those springtime allergies will back off a little bit. But if we're doing this up and down, I think people will continue to have that itchy, watery symptoms. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. See, when I think about spring allergies, I rarely think about it from a vision standpoint, but it really makes sense because a lot of spring allergens have you rubbing your eyes, they're itchy, they're burning. What are some allergens that we experience in the spring that may affect our vision? You know, typically it's a lot of the pollens. Also when the snow melts, a lot of the mold spores will bother people's eyes. Mm. Mm -hmm. And it does seem too in the spring, as things start to dry out, things are kind of flying around. Mm -hmm. like you can almost look in the air sometimes and just see the things. See are those, the is, is that the stuff that's getting us? A lot of the pollens, yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So what do we do about it? I mean, is there anything um, just off the bat that we can keep that stuff out of our eyes? Well, one of the first things is try to avoid it. If you know you've got some pretty bad allergies, stay inside, you know, if you can. If you are outside, using just some over-the-counter teardrops when you come back in to mm -hmm. rinse those pollens, rinse those allergens out of your eyes will help minimize the symptoms. Okay. okay. So, they're, so they're irritating our eyes because they're getting in them. Does wearing mm -hmm. a simple pair of sunglasses or even glasses outside, does that do anything? A little bit. It'll help some just because it does provide a little bit of a barrier. Mm -hmm. It won't keep everything out, but it'll help a little bit. So is this a case where this stuff is actually getting in our eyes, sticking to our contacts, getting in our, our eyelashes? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. oh. I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's another thing you can do to help minimize symptoms. Is if you are outside and coming back in, not just teardrops, but taking a shower, rinsing all that off of your skin, out of your hair, out of your eyes will help. So I'm a contact lens wearer. Mm -hmm. Should I maybe, if my eyes are really bad, just not be wearing, con like wear glasses? There's a couple of options. That would be one. Yeah. Absolutely. That's going to help minimize symptoms. Another would be switching what type of contacts you wear. A lot of patients with bad seasonal allergies will go to a daily disposable mm -hmm. where you wear that contact that day and then toss it each night so you're not putting that contact that's got allergens stuck to it back in your eyes sure. and, and irritating your eyes. Sure. What are mm -hmm. symptoms that spring allergens may be affecting our vision? You know, really it's the, the wateriness, the itchy, um, and your eyes turning red. Those are kind of the three big things to look for. Mm -hmm. Do we have to worry about a, a long-term effect or is it while we're experiencing the allergy? It's usually m mostly when you're experiencing it. Mm -hmm. All okay. right, well, uh, we're going to really dive into how to alleviate and how to just make this a, hopefully a more comfortable spring, especially if we're going to get spring seven times, because <laughs> <laughs> that's what I feel like has been happening. But we'll continue our conversation after a quick break.